to represent the shapes and lines we're going to use to show movement. And our second stamp is going to be for a pattern or texture on whatever underwater creature or animal you decide to make. So your pattern can really be anything you want. Here's one that I made. Just um, a bunch of variations of different shapes and these can be used like right next to one another, over top of each other, la overlapping each other. It's really just however you want your animal to look. Once you have some shapes cut out, all you're going to do is find a little sticky back, just peel off the backing, and then you're going to take your foam piece and just stick it across. Our next step is going to be painting our background of our underwater scene with watercolor paint and I'll background has dried, we are going to add a little bit more detail in our underwater scene. Before we move on to using our stamps, first we're going to make our animals or underwater creatures that we want for our scene. So I'm using this really nice art paper for this, and it comes in a lot of different colors. Well, first, actually, you're going to sketch on a piece of paper what sort of fish shape or animal you want to make. Now it can be something you've seen before that you want to try to recreate yourself or even just make up your own creature entirely. It's completely up to you. And once you feel confident in the shape that you've chosen on your piece of paper, you're going to try to redraw that on your colored paper. You also want to remember that you are going to be cutting these shapes out, so try to pick an outline that you know you'll be able to cut out. Don't pick something maybe with a bunch of teeny, teeny, tiny little pieces unless you want to spend some time carefully cutting them out. So once you draw your animal and cut it out, Here's some examples. So here is one of my fish creatures that I made. And I've decided that I want to use this circle stamp that I made to add the pattern and texture to it. And since this is a darker purple, I'm going to use this yellow tempera liquid paint. And when I was done, mine looked something like this. So now that my fish 
are dry and painted, I'm going to place them on my background to decide where I want them to be. So I know I want this fish to be swimming down this in this direction. So what I'm going to do to show that he's moving through the water, and let's say he's moving through the water more quickly than this fish. So to show that, I'm going to take some of my blue temper paint, Lay down a similar layer again. Dip it in, and so before I actually glue this down, because I want these to look like they're coming from underneath him, I'm going to put these down before I glue it. So I want them to be around here. So at the end, since he's swimming away, I'm going to put some darker little blue streaks leaving his tail. I'm going to do this a few times to build up a layer, and I'm going to make the layer thicker with more lines the closer it is to him, so it gives the appearance that he's swimming away down in that direction. See? I'm also going to use a little white as well to add some contrast and some highlights in the water. Mm -hmm.